Hey guys, how you doing? Baru here, and today I have another 10 things you probably didn't know about Borderlands 2. You guys have been requesting a lot, so here it is. Rules are the same. If you learned something from this video, leave a like on it. If you knew everything in this video, you can leave a dislike. So here we go, guys. Alright guys, and now for number one. Let's start with something easy. Zero, Axton, Maya, and Salvador all start with zero cash. However, Gage and Krieg will start with $80. And now for number two. You have to re-equip your class mod after respecking in order to get the full bonus out of it. As you can see, I am specced into Steady, however, I will not get the bonus points from it until I unequip and re-equip my class mod. And now for number three. This one goes over the Bane. Even if you turn off all of the audio settings, you cannot mute the Bane. However, everything else will still be muted. And now for number four. At the beginning of the campaign, you can see Piston's blimp flying around the crater. However, after you have defeated him, you will see the blimp again, but it will be on fire. And now for number five. This one's for the Creek players. Despite the fact that the Sheriff's badge says pistol rate of fire on the item card, it will actually buff your Buzz Axe throw speed as well. And now for number six. Going into Buzz X Rampage with the Grog Nozzle equipped will have no effect on it. However, if you merge your Grog Nozzle into another weapon and then go into Buzz X Rampage with that, you will be able to get the drunk effect and throw multiple Buzz Axes. And now for number 7, this one is for the gauge players. It can be extremely frustrating to lose all of your anarchy stacks, but in some rare occurrences you can find certain ways to keep your anarchy stacks. One simple way is to throw yourself off a cliff after being killed in Fight for Your Life. This will prevent you from losing all of your stacks. This is what is known as a bleed out bypass, as you will go from Fight for Your Life immediately into the transition. And now for number eight. Shock -o lantern is a plant and thus he is grounded, which means he's going to resist shock. However, once his head has detached from his body, he will take full damage from shock damage. For number 9. Despite the fact that the devs told us that Jacques Lantern cannot be slagged, he actually can be. He simply does not display it and will shake it off very fast, similar to Terramorphus, Hyperius, and Veracitus. Number 10. You'll notice in the TK Baja DLC, the Hyperion moon base is just above the moon. After you have completed the Easter egg to summon Clark, that moon will say trick or treat on it.
And there you guys go, that is 10 things about Borderlands 2. As I said in the beginning of the video, if you learned something from this, be sure to hit that like button. If you knew everything, you can leave a dislike. Don't forget to share this on Facebook, Twitter, etc, etc, and see how many your friends knew. Depending on how much support this gets, I might make one fourth and final episode. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.